What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE slash AEW action figure ranking video for you guys. And it comes at a great time because we are celebrating Sting today, man. We're celebrating the icon Sting, one of my personal favorite wrestlers ever to ever do it, man, to ever step in the ring today. We're going to be taking all of his WWE Elite action figures and all of his AEW action figures, combining them into one ranking and ranking every single one of them here in the tier list here today, man. Excited to do so. We have many ranking videos just like this on the channel so be sure to go check those out and if you'd like to vote on which superstar we do next in this series of videos on my channel you can go over to the patreon where you can become an extreme division member or higher and you are able to vote on these videos and today man the patron backers huge shout out to those fellas they decided on sting and what a great moment because he just recently retired as we know at aew revolution had a fantastic matchup that was insane and i enjoyed every second of it man but today we're going to be diving into ranking these Sting figures, man. So let's get into the tier list real quick. We'll break down the lore of every category we have here and give you the short rundown, and then we'll dive into our ranking, man. Starting out at the top, we do have Go Buy It. Now, Go Buy It pretty much means that I am putting my stamp of approval on the figure, and it basically means you need this in your collection. You need to go buy it right now. It should be in your wrestling action figure collection. Below that, we have Good Figure. This means that I would understand if you had it in your collection, but it's not 100% must-have. It is a really good figure. You know, I I'd understand if you had it, if it's in your collection. I'm like, yeah, good on you for having that, but I don't think it's 100% must-have. Below that, we have the meh tier, which basically means the figure's not great, it's not good, it's not bad, though. It's just kind of middle of the road. It doesn't really move the needle much. Below that is barely acceptable. Barely acceptable means you have one thing about your figure that is preventing you from the bottom tier. So maybe a head sculpt, an accessory, maybe you feel good in hand, but you look like trash. One thing keeping you from the bottom tier, which is the garbage. And the garbage means you don't need the figure, you don't even need to look at the figure, don't even acknowledge the figure. Get it out of my face. I don't want to see it, man. Garbage. That's what gar garbage. Get it out. Acknowledge me. But with all that shish being said, man, let's dive into our Sting ranking video, and we're gonna start things off with the Elite 39 Sting. Very cool Sting figure. It kind of a kind of a mix up of like a Wolfpack Sting with a modern Sting. It's got a very very cool figure. I remember finding this at retail, blew my mind, and I was excited for it, and I absolutely grabbed it. Firmly grasp it. Just like Patrick Starr says, man, I'm putting this in good figure. I think that it's not must-have. Like, it's good. I like it a lot, but it's I don't think it's must-have. It's not the top of the top. I would put it in the, you know what I'm saying? It's it's 1B level. Yeah, if you have it, it's great, but I, I don't think so. I don't think it needs to be in the go-buy-it section. Next up is the Then Now Forever Bash at the Beach 3-pack, man. Oh, man. I don't like I don't like this figure, man. This is me, I think, his worst WWE elite figure is this Sting. I don't like the torso choice. I don't like the head sculpt. I don't like a lot of things about it. Like, uh, certainly the moment is cool and everything like that, of course, but I think the execution was really bad, man. I'm gonna put this in barely acceptable. It really could go in the garbage. I really don't care for the figure that much. I just think that it lacks a lot. There's a lot to be desired about that figure. It just could be done so much better. Hopefully he'll sign a damn Legends deal. If he, if, if Sting signs a Legends deal, it's over because he's gonna, we're gonna get Elites, Ultimate Editions, packs. It's gonna be unbelievable. I'm gonna lose my mind, so that'll be great. But next up, we have Elite 62 Sting, and my God, this one—it's so crappy. I'm gonna put this at the top of good figure, and just hear me out before you blasphemize it. I'm putting Elite 62 Sting at the top of good figure because I love everything about the figure, besides a the jacket, which I think is very imperative because the second time they've done this, which will come up later, and then the head sculpt—I feel like lacks so much personality, man. I just think it's so flatness, Everdeen. I don't—I can't stand it. I'm putting at the top of good figure. Really good figure. Love the figure. Also, the torso choice, man. I hate that damn torso choice. Same torso choice that was on the other Stinger. I just, oh man, takes me out of it. Next up, we have the Darby Allen Amazon exclusive two-pack with Sting. And this, for me, is going to be meh. I think that, you know, I, I just, it, like, uh, this is going to be interesting because there's a lot of figures on this list that are very similar to this in a way, but I'm going to put this one in meh. I like the shirt graphic, and it is coming with a, Sting, a Darby figure. And I guess if you're dealing with this figure by itself loose, be a different story. But for me here, I'm going to put this in meh for now. Uh, I like this two-pack. I just, it, there's things that we'll discuss. There's things we'll discuss, man. But next up, we have the Collect Forever Acrylic Encased 
Sting figure that I think is up for pre-order right now. I still haven't ordered it. I'm putting this in the garbage. I think that, you know, it's just, I think that it needs a specific audience. I, like, I don't know, man. This is very tough. I've discussed this in other videos, and I guess I can get into it a little bit here, but basically they've run into a wall here because these Collect Forever exclusive figures, it's basically, you know, it's a re-release of the Unmatched Series 2, which is a fine figure indeed and everything like that, but it's sealed in this acrylic casing, and it's it's considered a chase figure, right? But, you know, they, they can't really change too much about it because then people will be like, oh my god, why would you in case this figure into this solid acrylic thing and I can't even open it and use it and pose it around but then you know when you give them the same exact figure people whine and say you know it's the exact same figure what is this cash grab so it's kind of a weird balance that we talk about here on the channel I don't know man it very I'm putting in the garbage though I just I just don't really see the the, the grasp at it I you know what I'm saying so I, I don't know man just not not great not great right there I'm gonna put that in the garbage barely acceptable would probably be if they change some stuff but but I'm pretty sure it's essentially the exact same figure. Next up is the Shop AEW exclusive one of 3,000 Sting, his retirement figure here. And oh my lord in heaven. I mean, we're basically paying for packaging right here. Again, the same body mold that we're seeing on these other two Stings we just ranked. I'm going to put this in barely acceptable because the packaging saves it and the t-shirt saves it. That is it. It, you know, it, besides that, it is a good figure, but it's just, it's the same thing we've seen so many times before that I cannot in my right mind put it any higher than barely acceptable so i am gonna put it there ringside exclusive sting yelling with the t-shirt this also came with an AEW ring so now look at this count this one two three this is the fourth sting on this list that is pretty much identical pretty much identical it's not the exact same but it's pretty much identical and we're just getting started believe it or not so this sting right here this is tough again man i mean this is uh, at this point i want to say this was only like the second or third i think it's the third this was the third time we had seen this and i I like the yelling head sculpt. I'm going to put it in good figure. It's not above Elite 39. It's not above Elite 62 for me. I would put it in good figure, but because of the head sculpt only. The screaming head sculpt, it's like the only way you can really get the screaming head sculpt. So I'm going to put that there. And, you know, again, it was the third time we'd seen it. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But again, here we go again, man. AEW Unrival 13 Sting, which is, again, I mean, a change of head sculpt. Okay. And I like the Sting, you know, Scorpion graphic. Has a rubber coat. Comes with a bat again. It's very similar to other figures we've seen on this list. I just, oh, man. I, I mean, again, it's like the same figure just re painted like of course it's like the same long sleeve mold man i mean i don't really know what to say here this is a meh for me almost barely acceptable i like that they at least change the head sculpt they at least change this you know the, the graphic on the shirt but it's just not gonna move the needle it's not moving the needle for me and i love sting but it's not moving the needle for me and that's kind of what the meh category is all about it's not it's not bad, I guess, but it's not it's not good. So that's kind of where we're at there. Next up, we have the Defining Moments Crow Sting. Go buy it at the top. Absolutely. No buts about it. Absolute goaded right there, man. Best elite sting they've ever made. And what makes this figure even better, in my personal opinion, is if you get the sting basic with the long hair and you head swap it onto this figure, I'll just get up and go throw myself away. That's a damn good football figure right there, man. That'll, that'll get you up in the morning, man. You need another reason to get up in the morning? Right there. That's sting. Next up is Elite Defining Moment Sting again, but it's Great American Bash. And this one is a good figure, but it's below, like, Jesus in heaven. Not a good head sculpt, not a good torso. Rubber jacket that sticks his arms out like this right here. What are we, Chris Jericho in 2001, Brad? I don't like it. I, I know I'm over-exaggerating. His arms aren't all the way out here like Chris Jericho, okay? I get that, but I just don't. I, I, and also mine had a bobblehead. Mine was like all, all over the damn place, but it's just a good figure. Like, I'd understand if you have it because uh, just so many. You know how we talk about AJ Styles being the the most underutilized guy in WWE elite action figure history from Mattel. Sting's got to be up there, man. And I know we have some bangers, but there are some figures that they have missed the mark completely. So this is why I'm hoping he signs a Legends deal and we can get some of these things fixed and, you know, just freaking resurrected from the grave. So we'll see. But next up is San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 2023 Unrivaled Sting here. Comes with a coffin, which is cool. Has the, you know, House of Black face paint. Has a cloth shirt. 
Oh my god in heaven. This one is meh again. I just, like, I like that it's a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I like the coffin a lot. I like the face paint, but again, it's just the, it's essentially the same thing over and over and over again. I really want to put it in good figure because I really do, like, I don't hate, like, if you take the foundation of this figure, Unmatched Series 2, that figure's fantastic. It was my number one figure out of Unmatched Series 2. I think that it's so good, but when you constantly redo the same thing over and over and over and over again, and you're slightly changing it. And I know you could say the same thing about Cody Rhodes or whoever, but I guess it's just because of if they were to redo Sting and the Singlet, you know, from WCW and barely change it, wouldn't really bat an eye, but because it is like his later career, I think it changes things a little bit. I'm going to put it right there. Even though I do like a lot of the things about it, I can't put it in good figure with these other ones because we've seen this mold so many times. So that's kind of where I'm at right there. But let's move on to the Unmatched Series 2 AEW Sting here. And this is Go Buy It. I, I like this a lot. This is Go Buy It for me. I like that, you know, it's kind of that, I don't know, I just think the head sculpt's damn good. And it's the first of this kind, right? So it's the first time that we saw this iteration of Sting from AEW. This is his first AEW Sting action figure here. And it's good. It's a perfect encapsulation of a modern Sting at the time of this release. And I thought it was so good. So then it kind of becomes pick your poison a little bit, but he does come with the entrance jacket. It is rubber, by God, but you know what I mean? I think that you do have some good redeeming qualities there. And I guess, like, when you look at all these different Sting figures, it's kind of pick your poison. And I just realized I'm missing a Sting figure now, and that pisses me off. Hold up just a second. I need to go at it. Well, Brad, my damn, I don't, I don't know what happened. My ring light went out as I'm filming this, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, we're just going to keep rocking with it. A little bit scary there because I said, what a joke, and then it kind of cut out there. So now I'm terrified, but... But uh, look at the abyss back there. I don't I don't like what's going on back there, but I don't know why the ring light went out. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on, but let's keep let's keep grinding. Let's keep going. So I did have the Supreme Collection on here, but it's not on here. I saved it. It's not here. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, that would be in the Go Buy It. The Supreme Collection Sting. We're going to talk about the Supreme Collection Sting here in the absolute Go Buy It. Not even close. Not even close. It's absolutely in the Go Buy It. Probably it could be the best Sting figure of all time. So the Supreme Sting again, man, it's going at the top of Go Buy It. It would be going in the top of Go Buy It. I don't know what the hell happened here, but it's not here, and so that makes me sick. Next up, we have the Chase version of the Unmatched Series 2. I'm putting this in barely acceptable. You know, again, it was like, this is the first Chase I ever found at a retail store in person, but for me, it's, you know, it's just a change in shirt graphic. It's not the biggest deal ever. One of 5,000 Sting. It's what we've kind of regurgitated in this video over and over again. Not a ton of change here. I do like the shirt graphic. I will say that. I do like the shirt graphic, but it's not enough for me, man. I'm going to put that in barely acceptable. It's just, but I mean, it is a chase, but God in heaven, man. Maybe I should put it in mad. I'm putting it in barely acceptable, I guess. Or maybe I should flip-flop one of these. I don't freak. I don't know, man. God. Next up, we have the Hall of Fame Elite. I'm putting this in Go Buy It. I love this figure. I love this. You know, it, it, as baffling as it is with the L, uh, it does come with the rubber jacket, but it is rubber, so that does, you know, that stinks. I'm sick of these damn rubber coats, man. So many rubber coats from all these companies, man. That's why the Supreme is it. It's got the cloth jacket. It's a beautiful piece. It's, it's automatically at the top. Next up, is the ringside exclusive Wolfpack NWO Sting. This is Go Buy It. I would put that way up there. It's probably, it could be number one, but for me, I'm going to put it at number two or three, depending on how you look at it. Again, the Supreme is up there, so there's that. But yeah, the, the, the ringside exclusive NWO Wolfpack Sting is such a beautiful piece. I recently just got that figure from my boy Anthony. Huge shout out to you, buddy. I appreciate that so much, and so I that figure is amazing. I love it. I love it every single day when I look at it, so that's going to be a piece that I admire. Just a beautiful, it just takes me back, takes me back in time. It's just a, such a great figure, man. I love it. So that's easily go by. It's up there with the best of them. And then last but not least, man, we have the AEW Unmatched Series 2 Luminaries Walmart Exclusive Sting, and this one is just meh. Ah! Yeah, it's meh. It's it's meh. It's the same as the Unmatched Series 2, just with face paint, repaint, and you know what I'm saying. I guess I could put it in good figure because I would understand if you wanted it because it is half Darby Allen face paint, half Sting face paint, so it does kind of make sense there, of course, but I don't know. Again, a lot of the things we've said in this video already, just not gonna not gonna move the needle that much for you there. And I guess it, the the ranking of certain figures has dropped every time because if you look at it from a from a sense of maybe it was originally good figure, then over time as they keep re-releasing the same stuff over and over, it drops and it drops and it drops. And that's kind of how the way these things go sometimes, man. So it's just kind of that's how the cookie crumbles. Nonetheless, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our Sting AEW and WWE Elite figure ranking. Going through this again, again, the Supreme is at the top of go buy it for me personally right now. 
now. I mean, that's all based on hype. I don't have the figure in hand just yet, but I think it was appropriate to rank it here today. But at the same time, I love all these figures in the go buy it section. I like a lot of these in the good figure section. I think it's fair to say. Uh, it definitely could be better in some instances, but I would understand, you know, a lot of the lore there. And then we do have meh. I, I, agree, I agree across the board. I think this is a pretty solid ranking of all the Sting figures, and he actually has a lot more than you would think when you, you know, you add it all up. And again, hopefully he will sign a Legends deal, and we'll get more WWE Elite Stings, maybe even an Ultimate Edition, which is the dream for me. I'm, I say it every single day, man. Had he been an Ultimate Edition in the Crowdfunder Nitro stage, crowdfunding project from Mattel, would have funded instantly. It would have been instantaneous. It would have been just all day long there. So that would have been nice. Even if they had to like upgrade the price by 50 bucks and then, you know, shell all that money out to AEW or Sting or whoever they'd have to pay, should have done it, man. Should have done it. You know, I, I love, uh, ugh, God. I think about that stage way more than I should, to be honest with you. Constantly thinking about that stage that we failed on. How did we fail? No less, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I do apologize for the lighting cutting out halfway through the video, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta build a bridge and get over it is how I like to say it. But anyways, man, if you want to vote on these videos in the future, check out the Patreon link in the description below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter.